Hey YouTube, I'm Brad Apps here, and today I'm going to make a tutorial on reversing an NS string. Um, before I go into the tutorial, I just want to go over a few things first. First of all, I think I'm over 75 subscribers now, which is great, you know. I'm glad that everyone, you know, enjoys my videos and they want to, you know, see more. And I'm sorry for not posting a video in about four months. I know it's crazy. But, um, yeah, I'm going to start, since it's like the summertime, I'm going to start making some more tutorials and unboxings. Um, and the second thing I want to go over here is I'm now using Xcode 4. I know a few of my commenters and subscribers want me to use Xcode 4 because it'd be easier for them to integrate in their own apps and projects and stuff, and I'm finally using it. So it actually only took a few minutes to get used to, and uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get started. Um, I'm going to start out by using a single view application, and they I'm going to name it Reverse. And a string. Okay. Yep. Put it in there. Okay. First thing we're gonna do is go to the dot h, make brackets, and pretty much just copy over what I copy over here. I pretty much have it copied over, copied over from before, just to make it faster and easier for you guys. But I'll read it out for you. Alright, so first of all, we're going to make two IB outlets. One's going to be for a text field, and another one's going to be for a label. So, when we click the Done button on the keyboard, or the Return button, whatever whatever it is, from the text field, it's going to put the reverse string into the UI label. And that action, when the Done button or Return button is clicked on the keyboard, is going to be this, Done Keyboard. So anyway, just implement this, these little uh, things in the dot .h here, and then we're going to move on to the dot .m. Where we implement the action. All right, so I'm going to read out the action to you guys. Uh, so pretty much just copy over the IB action on keyboard, start bracket, you know, in between the end bracket. And here we go. And a string space asterisk my string space equals space field one dot text dot text semicolon next line ns mutable string space asterisk reverse string space equals space Start bracket, ns mutable string, space string, end bracket, semicolon, next line, ns integer, space, char, index, space, equals space, start bracket, my string, space, length, end bracket, semicolon, next line, while, start parentheses, my string, space, end, end, space, char, index, space, greater than, equal to, space, zero, end parentheses, space, start bracket, Next line, chart index, minus, minus, or dash, dash, semicolon. Next line, ns range, space, sub, str range, space, equals space, ns make range, start parentheses, char index, comma, space, one, and parentheses, semicolon. Next line, start bracket, reverse string, space, append string, colon, start bracket, my string, space, substring with range, colon, sub, str range, End bracket, end bracket, semicolon, and end bracket, another end bracket right there. Next line, this is gonna be the last line. Field two dot text space equals space reverse string. So pretty much, we grab the string from the text field. Here's a little algorithm to reverse it. Not not so complicated. And then finally, we take that um, we take the uh, ns mutable string and put it into our UI label. So the next thing we are going to do is make a little UI here. For the text field and UI label. Okay, so first, make text field a little bit bigger, and we are going to put a label in. In my case, I'm just going to put it blank. All right, next, you click on Files Owner, go to the Outlets Field One, Text Field Field Two, to the UI label. Now click the text um, text field. And you'll see the send events here in the connections tab in Xcode 4. And drag the did end on exit, the file's owner. You'll see a little button here or whatever saying done keyboard, the action that we implemented. Now click it, and now it's connected. Voila. Alright, so we're going to build, make sure there's no problemos. Alright, perfecto. And we are going to run it.
So the problem is um, before from like my videos being down or whatever a few times because of stupid uh, screen capture software I'm using sometimes doesn't capture the video or whatever. So anyway, I think it, I think it's fixed now. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna type in I Brad. See the capital letter right there for the B space and then a capital A. Everything counts in this, so it's perfect. No matter it's capitalized, punctuation, no matter what. So anyway, you'll see here, when I click the return button, it's going to go on the label backwards. See, look at that. SPP, capital I, space, a DAR, capital B, I, and that is my text field backwards. So that's pretty much a handy tu little tutorial that I made for you guys, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, this is my 10th tutorial, and I'm planning to make another one either later on or tomorrow, which is pretty much going to be an upgrade to my seventh tutorial. It's going to be 7.5, my seventh 7.5 tutorial, which is going to be like an upgrade to that tutorial, I guess you can say, where it's going to grab all the words from a, a TXT file, and it'll just work that way. And it's actually a lot better because I have a nice text file with about 400 bad words or curse words or whatever, and it'll work perfectly, and you can implement it in your game. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, actually. And uh, have a nice day.